What's good, EYTVC? What's good, Fight Fans, Boxing Heads Around the World? B March with another boxing video. So I just finished watching Ricky Burns become the first Scottish man to win uh, three different titles in three in three different divisions. You know what I'm saying? Being a champion now at um, 140 and also a champion at um, Super Featherweight and a champion at Lightweight. You know what I mean? So um, Ricky Burns gets the man, uh, the Italian uh, fellow named uh, Michelle DeRocco. He gets him out of there. In um, eight rounds, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't... The, the fight basically was one-sided, man. I had Ricky Burns winning every single round, you know what I mean? He um, he was tagging the man all day with the with the one-twos, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't miss with the right hand. He even said it in his post-fight interview, you know what I'm saying? Um, the man, um, Ricky Burns, was doing his thing in there, you know what I mean? The man, um, Michelle DeRocco, wasn't on his level, you know what I'm saying? They were definitely two classes apart from each other, you know what I mean? Um, the man Ricky Burns, he was tagging him all night with the right hand, you know what I'm saying? He was fighting from distance, you know, using his um, length and reach, you know what I'm saying? And um, he even dropped the man, uh, Michelle DeRocco, in the third round, you know what I mean? And um, basically, that was the story of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the man, uh, Ricky Burns, was catching him all night with the right hand, you know what I'm saying? Tagging him with jabs. He was even rocking him with jabs. I want to say in the sixth round... Um, he, he caught him with the, with the jab that wobbled him. And that particular knockdown in round three, he caught him with the one-two, you know what I'm saying? Straight down the pipe, and the man was on the ropes, and he went down, you know what I mean? And then round eight, he got him out of there, you know what I'm saying? Ricky Burns makes history, man, and, um, congratulations to Ricky Burns, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, he got some good fights there at, uh, at, um... At super lightweight, you know what I'm saying? He could fight guys. Maybe he could get a rematch with, um, what's his name? With uh, Terrence Crawford, you know what I mean? Remember, Terrence Crawford beat him at lightweight when he came over to Scotland and got the WBL belt from him, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, he says he wants guys like Adrian Broner, too. You know, so those are guys, hey, I wouldn't mind seeing those fights, man. Ricky Burns uh, makes history, and um, congratulations to him, you know. This guy, Michelle DeRocco, his head movement was terrible. The man um, couldn't get out of the way of a punch, you know what I'm saying? And his punches ain't have no muster on it. In the first round, he was trying to be the aggressor. He came in very aggressive, very aggressive, like he was trying to get this man out of there because he thought he couldn't win a fight, you know, in um, Scotland by, by the fight going to the distance, you know. So he was trying to get him out of there in the first round, and he paid because he got wobbled with the right hand again. So, yeah, check this fight out if you haven't seen it, man. It's um, um, the man uh, Ricky Burns makes history, becomes the new WBA super lightweight champion, and um, hopefully we'll see him in some big fights in the near future because he's not a young man. You know, he has over 45 fights in his career. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Leave your thoughts or comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the fight. And um, I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Thanks for listening. Peace.